Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do like a little nail care, nail care video. So we're gonna start off by filing my nails with this little metal file that I have laying around in my house. And I usually do nail care videos, well not videos, nail care moments like every week since it's summer. But usually on like a school year, I do them once a month or like, I don't know. I'd cut my nails but like I wouldn't care like paint them or whatever all the time because I don't need to paint my nails for school like they chip so yeah so I decided to paint like my nails today first start to like make sure my nails were all shaped into like an almond well, like, well it kind of is an almond oval shape I like to keep it that way so the edges don't get easily broken because when I keep my nails in a normal way it usually breaks a lot so if I keep it in an oval shape it's like fine it doesn't break in fact I actually recorded this like way long ago so I changed my nail color into this maroon with black it's kind of emo but it matched my fit for this special day and then I kind of have to do my nails again today, like, yeah, so I kind of have to do another nail video again, maybe, I don't know. So I'm kind of taking a while to file my nails because nail filing needs patience and I need to do it perfectly fine so my nails don't chip. I know it takes a while for filing my nails off so I don't do it often but now that it's summer I could do it more it'll be more fun well it's not really fun it's kind of boring and time consuming but like I make it fun by singing talking listening to music watching videos etc I'm almost done guys trust me I know this is getting very boring to watch Hold on with me guys, we're gonna get to the fun part. And I have two oil bottles there by the way. One is sesame seed oil and one is olive oil. And if you guys haven't actually researched, sesame seed oil is good. It helps for your nails to grow and it promotes growth. And it also helps prevent water from breaking into your hands, I think, into your nails. I think I might have to recheck on that. And olive oil helps with nail growth as well. I like to put it on my cuta styles, these oils on my cuta styles, and on my nail, like because I feel like it just helps strengthen my nail. And I've actually risked three times almost breaking my nail, but because of this nail care, I have not broken my nail yet. And I am so happy because it's really nice to have my nails really firm forever, basically. So I'm just gonna use a cotton swab and like dip the oil into the little container and just rub it onto my nails I usually wait like 15 minutes but like I didn't want to wait that long today because I needed to go somewhere as well um, so I decided to do it really fast it takes a while to do my nails by the way so excuse me like I, I usually on a normal basis I think I take about one hour to do my nails because I don't do it frequently and I kind of lost doing it faster so now I'm just putting olive oil because I already put sesame oil sesame oil is actually in fact a little darker and yellower than olive oil olive oil is somewhat more greener than sesame seed oil that's a fun fact guys I made that up. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I'm just trying to make jokes, but I'm so lame. So, anywho, we're now gonna rub off the oil because I'm lazy to wait and I have somewhere to go, so I cannot wait for like 15 minutes. And it still worked pretty fine. Like, I only waited for like a minute and it worked pretty fine, so you guys should do that too. And now I'm just gonna paint French tips onto my nail with white nail polish because white nail polish is the best. It's really simple as well. So you can play off with any outfit. Like white actually goes with everything. It's a basic color. Well, it's not even a color. It's a shade, guys. It's a shade. So 
it basically complements every single color because you need white to make a shade lighter or darker like say blue if you want it lighter you put white if you want it darker you put black if you want it like a mid-tone then you put a little bit of gray which is basically white and black mixed so it contrasts everything so like that's why i like white um black also contrasts everything as well as gray but like certain colors like blue and pink contrast certain colors so that's why i kind of stay avoid from coloring my nails those colors but apart from that i usually color my nails black and white and since i am a right-handed person using my left hand to do my right hand like using my left hand to paint my right hand was a huge challenge trust me i did not get to do the french tips really good and neatly um but by luck i did it perfect only it's not perfect but it's somewhat close to perfect so i'm proud of myself for that so i'm just gonna clean up my area now because i have shaped my nail filed my nail and a lot of nail dust has went everywhere so i'm just gonna clean it up i'm also gonna wash my nails after i paint my nails like once they're dry because i don't know i have a habit of washing my nails after i don't know if it's just me but like i just need to wash my hands i don't know after i paint my nails so here i am cleaning up because we don't want nail dust on the table we need it clean nice and sparkly and clean so i'm just cleaning it up nicely 